Today, we wanted to talk about our favorite boondocking location. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we're Diary of a Family. And we're living life intentionally with you. We have been doing quite a few videos recently on boondocking and how to boondock. Today we wanted to share one of our favorite locations that we have boondocked over the past year. Disclaimer, we have not done a whole lot of boondocking, so this is only from a handful of experiences. However, we really enjoyed it. We met a lot of friends, made a lot of friends while we were there. Let's go ahead and get into some details about Saddle Mountain BLM. This boondocking location is 45 minutes west of Phoenix, Arizona, off of I-10. It is located in Tonopah, Arizona. Because this is a BLM land, the stay is 14 days in length. There are many miles worth of roads in this Saddle Mountain camping area that you can camp on. Now be warned, a lot of them are pretty easy to drive on with larger rigs, but some of them are not. Our very first time we went camping at Saddle Mountain, we probably picked the worst road to travel on with a 40 foot rig. We managed it. <laughs> But we're talking big boulders and the road is pretty grooved. Yeah, we made it in and we made it out barely. We found other options that suited our trailer better. Now we're gonna go over some of the pros of Saddle Mountain. First and foremost, this is an absolute gorgeous area to camp in. It is just stunning. And we were there in the winter time when everything was pretty dark and brown, but as the spring came on, flowers started flowering and green showed mm. up on the hills. And it just has become such a beautiful place in the springtime. There's flowers and all kinds of amazing. Butterf butterfly. It is very easy in most locations to get your rig in, whether it is a small camp trailer or if it's a 40 foot or larger uh, fifth wheel. We've seen little tow behinds, we've seen A classes, C class, and of course we were able to pull our 40 foot fifth wheel in. Yep. Um, just being aware of which roads are more accessible to the larger vehicles with the lower clearance. Because there are so many roads within this BLM land, you are able to spread out quite a lot from your neighbors, or you can cluster together to allow for group meetups. We really liked this area because there was a ranch that had water, dump station, and other supplies not five, 10 minutes away from Saddle Mountain. The proprietor was very friendly, loved to have communications with us. Um, and was always willing to show our kids some of the animals that he had on the on his ranch and just make it a really interesting experience for everyone. Plus being only 10 minutes from the BLM land, it was quite easy to dump and to fill up with fresh water. So we're here at Saddle Vista Ranch. We are getting water. Maybe they'll come out and eat the grass. What do you think, Timmy? You think they'll come out and eat the grass? Maybe. You know what we could do for a while is you come see their baby. Yeah. Oh, September, that's not that long ago. How do they know that the grass is trail? Well, they're down in the den, but they, they might have a little eyeball on. So if they eat grass and hay, can you see why their turd looks so much like grass? been eaten up and chewed up and left and left. <laughs> Do you want to go inside and see the little ones? Mm -hmm. Little baby tortoises. I want to see the big ones. 
Let's come back and check on them in a minute. They move really slowly. No, put all the sticks down. You and your thing. I got the big stick. Put it down. Hey, my tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, no. Well, hang on to that grass. We'll take it over to the older, the adults. Can you open it up? Oh, he's so cute. He's going to grass. You brought grass. You can throw grass up in there. The babies, that's what they eat. The babies eat grass. Yeah, you, you can throw it right up in He's there. He's got little toenails, so they'll be a little tickly. So the mom lays 100 eggs each year in July and hatches out. So in, we can put grass September. in there? Yeah, you can throw some grass in there. And, yeah. We have a summer home in a... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this location is perfect if you like to drive off-road go ATVing, ride motorcycles, go bouldering. This is a perfect location for that. There's also lots of hiking trails. Right up into the mountain, you can actually hike up to the top of the mountain. And there's a lot of trails that you can just go explore Saddle Mountain as a whole. For all of you who are rock hounds out there, this location has amazing agates all over the ground. And we came across quite a few people who were there just to do this rock hunting with their buckets. We did our best to limit the collection of rocks and agates inside our own trailer. And I think there's still some floating around in the trailer. The kids really did enjoy looking for these beautiful specimens. Um, and I believe that uh, several of you found geodes up on the mountainside. We really liked Saddle Mountain's location in relation to other boondocking locations such as Lake Havasu and Quartzsite. We were able to go out for a short weekend to Quartzsite, stayed about four or five days uh, during the January season and still be able to make it back in time for me to work at my job in Phoenix, Arizona. Now this location does have a few negative aspects to it. The first being it is quite a drive from Phoenix. So if you're doing a lot of back and forth between Saddle Mountain and Phoenix, you're gonna be using a lot of gas. During my first week of orientation, I had to drive to the eastern side of Phoenix and it ended up taking me about two hour commute time to get to that side from the Saddle Mountain area. Otherwise, getting to the west side of Phoenix, it's more like 50 minutes, which is not too bad. The hospital that I was at was about 45 minutes from us. Now, the closest location that you can get groceries and supplies is in Buckeye, which is about 40 minutes away. Buckeye is on the outskirts of Phoenix on the west side. If you travel a little bit further into Phoenix, there is also Costco and several other grocery opportunities as well as movie theaters and other such amenities. Did we also mention that there was a lot of flies? <laughs> we were there in the fall and winter and there were times that the flies were quite inexorable. I don't know if that's even the word I'm looking for. Um, overwhelming? Would, yeah. You would kill 20 of them and 30 more would come out. The reason for this is you are out in a farming community and there are animals in the near vicinity which allows the flies to breathe and then they are attracted to any smells that are around your campsite. The flies were worse in the fall and early winter time. Later in the late winter, basically after December, uh, the fly population was, I think, cut in half because it does not freeze often at all. Um, this does not allow the fly population to be completely killed off. We definitely bought stock in fly traps. Garrett has a salt gun. Uh, we have always had some sort of fly trap attached to our ceiling. Fly swatters. <laughs> fly swatters. I had like a tick. I had like a nervous tick after leaving there. I was like, look at the fly. Like, Get away. Get away. Compared to boondocking locations in that area that we stayed at, we stayed at about three. It was not one of the worst locations for flies. It was more of a modern location. Lastly, you will not want to try and boondock here during the summertime. 
you're dealing with the Phoenix heat, which could, which could probably get upwards of 120 degrees, which is not boondocker friendly. Unless you have the whole array, you know. <laughs> or all your you ACs the soft, off the solar. The soft start for your ACs and the lithium batteries and the solar panels and yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have the works, you might be able to make it work. It's going to get hot, but our experience during the winter and the early spring was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Only a few cloudy or rainy days, and like I said, in the February and March time, everything starts coming alive. The desert just is growing profusely and, yeah. and showing you why people like the desert so much. One of the greatest memories we have from Saddle Mountain is all the friendships and relationships we built while we were there. We've had potlucks and campfires and movie nights and birthday parties and uh, mom walks and hikes to the top of the mountain. And live streams. Live streams. It has been so much fun to spend all this time boondocking out in God's nature with some amazing people. And most likely we'll be there again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life, life intentionally. intentionally.